Welcome back to Journey Alberta. I'm Sean. Today I'm going to be talking about five places that I really want to go to this year. I'm going to consider them my Alberta bucket list adventures. First off is I want to go camping at the Waterfowl Lakes. It's about halfway between Lake Louise and Saskatchewan Crossing up the Icefields Parkway, which for those that don't know, I believe is Highway 93. I want to go camping there because one, it's a first come first serve campground. Two, Waterton Lakes National Park was devastated by wildfire last year and my friend Jesse and I have been kind of wanting to go somewhere different this year anyways. So that kind of gave us an excuse to find somewhere new. So we're going to try camping there. It's supposed to be a very beautiful area and I know that there are a lot of excellent hikes in the area as well. So I'm really looking forward to checking that place out, hopefully in the summer. If you've been following the Journey Alberta channel since last year, well this second one on the list should come as no surprise to you. The Ghost Public Land Youth Zone. Now I've done quite a few videos out there already, but I really like it out there. Like I said before, it's a great place to camp, it's free. It's, but I haven't really explored very much of the hiking in the Ghost Public Land Youth Zone. So this year one of my bucket list adventures out there is doing the Black Rock Mountain Hike. It's not a super hard hike, it's just a little tough to get to. But you have to go uh, drive down to the creek bed like where Jesse and I did last year. And you have to follow it upriver for a bit and then uh, you hit the trailhead eventually. But you climb to the top of this mountain, pretty much, and there's a fire lookout up there. An old abandoned one and the building is still up there. It's a wood building, but it's kind of cool. I really want to get up there and see it in person. Number three on my list of bucket list adventures in Alberta this year has to be the Rockbound Lake Hike. Now I've actually been up trailhead and hiked a portion of this hike before when I was on my way to Silverton Falls a couple of years ago now, but I want to go all the way. It looks like a very stunning hike by Castle Mountain, so I really want to get out there. It's going to be a tough one, but that's something I really want to do this year. Number four on this list for me is getting up to one of the northern national parks in Alberta. There's one that's just east of Edmonton called Elk Island National Park, and way further up north in Alberta is Wood Buffalo National Park. I'd really like to get to at least one of them this year, because I've never been to either of them, and it should be quite a cool experience to get up there and experience something that's different than Waterton Lakes National Park, Jasper, and Banff, because these national parks aren't in the mountains. So I don't think I've actually ever been to a national park that's not in the mountains. So I really want to get up there with either my wife Kelsey or my friend Jesse, get up there for a couple days and just uh, enjoy what the sights are up there compared to the mountain parks. Last on the list is a place I have been before, but it's been a very long time since I've been there. Cypress Hills Provincial Park. It's right on the border between Alberta and Saskatchewan. And I have been there five or six years ago now. But I want to go there again with maybe my friend Jesse, head back down through Medicine Hat where I'm from, and head out to that park because it's a, it's a great place to camp and you know there's some there's some hiking opportunities there as well. So it'd be a really cool experience to take him out there also who's he's never been out that way before. So that could be really fun I think. Hopefully you've enjoyed listening to what my bucket list ideas for adventures in Alberta are for this year. Hopefully that gave you some ideas of what to do as well. If you want to give me some ideas, just leave them in the comments down below. Also make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed watching it. Subscribe for new videos coming every Friday and I'll see you next week.